Hello, all of my friends. How are you guys doing today? Uh, we are going to do this one. Isn't that fun? It's very, very fun. And it is after something that I've done a long time ago. I did this about uh, 10 years ago. I don't know. Um, I was not as experienced and I stress over this a lot. But um, I did that and I uh, was very happy. And actually, there is a story. As you uh, listen to me on the video and you will hear the story, it's kind of... I don't know. You see, you're here, and you will tell me what you think. And um, so, what we did after I say goodbye to you is, um, I went in and intensified this area, okay? This area because I know that that is the darkest of the shadows. And so, um, I say goodbye to you. I just told you, and I will just do some splashing, which I did here and there. This to indicate movement of a bee. You know, a bee like to move around, right? And um, I didn't do any more flowers. I finished this one with you guys. And then I I just do splashing as I promised you. Okay. And uh, sign my names. And that's it. Now, um, the drawing of this, if you don't want to design something or draw yourself, it will be on my blog. On this blog post, which will be, I don't know, watercolor daisies uh, with bees. Um, and then... Uh, and then you guys can go and trace it and so you can uh, have a fun time painting with me, okay? And uh, now, uh, one thing I wanted you, and, and so it will be on my blog. My blog is sunsetpeonies.com and I will put that uh, uh, on the bottom, okay? The name, so you can go and, uh, and fetch this and, and just look around my blog. Actually, my shop is there too and then you can look at my shop too. And now, um, one thing you you need to pay attention with daisies is I have seen some uh, artists actually make this too much of a dome, okay? Now, uh, be careful when you're tracing, okay? And that you not do that. And there's a way we don't uh, make this look more like a dome is over here and we pull the darker color, you know, out more. Now, if I stop right there, then this part will be light and it will look more like a dome, right? Now you see that when we go through, when we're drawing this. And so this is what, uh, they are kind of shallow. Uh, I know that they see are not blooming yet, but uh, when it's time, then you guys can go out and see that. And uh, they're not coneflower or uh, or black eyed Susan. Black eyed Susan coneflower, they go up a little bit more, okay? So that's the only thing you need to look out for. And the bee will be there. And then you guys can uh, ping along with me. Uh, thank you so much. Don't talk too much, right? And we will just get on to with the painting. And do subscribe to me, uh, share my share my video with people, and uh, that uh, anybody who is interested, I'd like to get this out to people as much as possible. And uh, thank you so much for those of you who already have, and it really means a lot to me because it's my feedback. I don't hear back from you guys, um, which is fine, you know. I, I always say it's fine because sometimes people are shy. Sometimes people doesn't want to. But do subscribe, okay? Leave comment will be fun. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. And uh, I actually uh, talk about where to get this brush. Thank you very much for Lena, who's a subscriber. She went and find that on uh, Amazon for us, okay? I'll put the, hopefully the link. But if it is not the link, I will uh, write out how you uh, can go. And it's uh, the corner store, happy dot detail. You know, she find that. Uh, for me and so uh, actually where you can buy it you can buy the flow brush and you can buy the red tail and other but um i have tried the red tail i just get the red tail from byu from the local college um okay it's very sharp okay you can do sharp line but there's not capacity here okay now it also is because uh, i'm not used to it yet now maybe i play with it a lot more than i would just say hey go get it but this is so cheap it is only ten dollar and, and with some shipping, thank you so much, you know, and it has been a good brush, okay? Uh, a brush to a painter is like the wand to a, to a wizard, right? Like Harry Potter, you know, they pick their wand. You guys need to get used to this, okay? Um, so don't get discouraged if it's a, if you are going to buy it. Of course, we don't get paid, you know, I she just find it. And so I'm telling you, but, you know, so I, I also tell you that we don't need a lot of money to be... A good artist okay we uh, need to be like a wizard get used to the wand <laughs> that's my harry potter <laughs> you know i'm such a nerd anyway okay we'll get going okay thank you so much and do subscribe and i will see you later so we should get started okay and uh, uh, as for this uh, painting i also draw it 
write on. I didn't, I didn't draw it on the paper and, and trace it. So I was just busy dapping the, dapping the, um, the pencil mark off. Okay. Now let's, um, uh, this is really fun. So let's, uh, go on to the B first. Okay. Now as for the color of the B, I'm going to mix some burnt umber with some black. Okay. So, um, nothing, you know, that, uh, I have the eye already on there because I just like that. Sometimes I just uh, like to have things, um, you know, that take away some of the the stress because, um, you know, and you can see that as I go, I leave a little bit of a, of a um, area, a white area around the eye too, okay? But not so important, okay? Now I'm using my Chinese brush and thank you for Lena my subscriber and friend here and uh, she actually find the what, what i'm doing is i'm cleaning up the brush now and just i'm leaving this area here and i pull the pull the pigment out okay just so that it has some depth to it okay and then i might uh, maybe i should just go in a little bit of uh, the lamb black from daniel smith okay and drop some more intense towards the darker area okay and uh and then just uh, let this area have a little bit of whiteness to it. And now it's of course very abstract. And I hope that you have a, you have a big, uh, uh, you have not a big, uh, you have a laptop, not desktop, so you can uh, see this. But um, you know, I do the best that I know how. And uh, okay, I'm not going to because this is uh, still quite wet. Okay, the black color, black mixed color here. And so I'm gonna come over here and uh, do this. Okay. Do this part of the second layer of the black okay i got some of the you know color onto the yellow area okay uh, don't worry okay we don't sweat over things like that okay the second layer of the bb the bb's um you know because i i just uh, know that when you paint um when you paint uh um a daisy it's very good to have a b with it because it's uh, they have about the same coloration coloring and the bee now what i'm doing going to do is i have a wing right here okay i um use my pencil and i know that it might be a little hard for you to see the wings but i have it right here and so i'm just painting around the wings okay the stripy black part you know of the of the bb okay i only have one uh bb to show you but i also have another bee in my dandelion then you can uh but they are different, they're different uh, pose. The pose is different. And so it's kind of fun to do bees in different pose. Uh, pose bees are very, very um, fun to paint and they're a little bit easier. Okay, now I'm going into my detail brush and bringing out, um, uh, bring some, uh, I'm dipping on some paint spray, okay? Now I have my wings, okay? And now I have to find the wings because uh, there's one here and one here, okay? Uh, let's see. I, oh yeah, right there. You know, I, I told you that. Oh, now um, you can just you just witness, right? My little detail brush do not want to pick up the pigment of the paint spray. So when I come to paint, there was nothing, and so I go back in. <laughs> I go back in and get some more, and that's okay. You know, um, that's the way you know it. Uh, it likes to behave, and I. I work with it, okay? And now there's a line over here. And since I'm doing the detail, I don't mind just butting it against the wet uh, kind of black color, okay? And then uh, I'm I'm also, as I'm doing, I'm uh, putting some of their, and then I come back and some of their, um, their lacy characteristic of the wings. And, and then I come in and pull it out, okay? And I just let it be lacy. I let it be, uh, I let you see some of the harsh line you know, hard line, or I, not harsh, and I guess you can call it harsh. And some of them, um, you know, the line is broken, like there's nothing over here, and I am not even worried, okay? Now we're gonna put in some uh, other color, okay? And uh, as we go, we will put, uh, actually, I'm gonna put in a drop in a little bit of purple. You know, why don't we just do it now? Now, why do I do things like that? Like, because um, now this uh, painting predominantly, okay, there's just a little tad of uh, quinacridone violet, okay? I just barely put it there, okay? That one was a little stronger because I wanted you to be able to see it. Now, why do I do things like that? Because this painting is predominantly just um, uh, a mix of uh, quinacridone burnt orange, and uh, I'm just gonna leave the bee 
now like that. Okay, quinacridone burn orange and uh, yellow and cadmium yellow medium. I'm going in with my uh, Chinese brush again and um, uh, cadmium red medium, uh, yellow medium and brown and green, lots of green and pink gray. And so it's good to put in a little bit of um, of uh, quinacridone violet just to give the uh, your eyes a break. Okay, I talk about that all the time. So you guys are quite used to you know, how I design things, right? And so I would just do that. And, uh, and uh, you know, and so uh, I, I I didn't, I wasn't thinking of putting on the B at that moment, but then I, you know, I thought to myself as I was saying something to you guys, you know, just now, you know, if I put it there, now what I'm doing is I am putting quinacridone burn orange there. And now I use my paintbrush Okay, I promise you, I'll show you, okay? So this is my palette, my green palette. I go pick up some cadmium red medium, okay? Like you can see the consistency, right? There's nothing, no trick to it. You just have to, um, you just have to get used to, get used to the color, okay? And then I'm using it to pull the color out, pull the quinacridone and uh, burn orange out. And what I'm doing is I am just letting my color mix on the page, okay? You know, I do that a lot. I love that. It doesn't bother me. Um, I know that people like to mix on the palette, but I like to mix on the, on the. I mix on the palette too. You know, once in a while when it's needed. Okay, so this is my highlight area. So I just kind of pull the color out without. I, I clean the brush and pull the color out. Okay, without extra pigment, and then I go in uh, to the brown burn umber. Burn umber is a very dark brown color, and I even mix that with some black, just like the wings over there, and then I drop in this area now. Uh, this part, I don't have to do it now, but I just, you know, while I am here and the color, you know, just uh, in uh, intuitively, I can see that the color are not um, having problem. Like they're not um, too fussy. You know, it's kind of hard to explain to you. You know, it's like kind of good. And so I just drop in and now the dimension of the middle part is quite defined. Okay. Um, now, uh, I will explain when I do the intro. When you do the drawing, make sure this is not too dumb, okay? If you make it too dumb, that you will run into problem. What problem? Because it, you will, um, it won't be like a, like a daisy, you know, that is the problem. And so I'm doing the same thing over here now, okay? Because I, I perceive that the, I'm, and I pick up some quinacridone, uh, no, cadmium uh, yellow medium, and I'm going to start filling out the yellow part, okay, of the B, because B is just yellow and black stripe, okay? Right, that's how I paint B anyway. I just uh, not too complicated, you know, because I don't know. These two might be fighting. Who's the who's the main character? I let it go into the black, no problem. Okay, now over here at the very tip, because I wanted it to be like kind of a round shape, right? Not a not just a little triangle here. I drop some uh, burn umber right there to deepen the to deepen the uh, shadowy part. Okay. And so I, all I have to do is while it's still wet, I just drop a little bit there. You can do it when it's dry too, okay? And if it is not intense enough, I will come in and and do that. I will just come in and, uh, you know, maybe intensify the shadow area a little bit with some blue. Sometimes I use brown though, you know? And so today I use brown right in front of your eye, okay? Now I'm gonna drop a little bit of yellow there because I don't want it to be ambiguous. Now, do you remember when we were painting um, when we were painting. Now I'm going in with some very, very light yellow, okay? And go into the wings. When we were doing the dragonfly, I told you that when you do wings, you know, when you're going through an area where it's translucent and all transparent, you can, whichever you did, you know, uh, you, you want uh, less than intense, less intense of the same color. So you're like, you're looking through glass, okay? Or looking into water. Okay, that's how we like to do that. Okay, and I'm I'm leaving that uh, top area a little bit of a jaggedy edge so that to um, let it have its fussiness. Okay, let it have. Um, and so now, same thing. Okay, going into the burn umber and drop that right there. Okay, so it has a, a little bit of a roundishness to it. And I wanted to drop some right there too, but I'm not going to do it now. I will do it when it's. Uh, when it's dry, okay? Now this area is actually just pulling out um, the black, but I'm going to just give it a little bit of yellow, okay? 
to finish it up. That's just a design, uh, a design, um, but very light wash. Okay, that's just uh, your design choice. That's what I wanted to say. So don't worry about it too much. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here and put a little bit of the burnt umber, but a very light, light, light wash, and then I'll come in and even soften it so that it gives you the illusion that you are actually seeing through the wings okay seeing through the wings of the of the of the bee okay okay and so over this wing because this wing is not covering the body right so this wing we will use um you know almost nothing you know because it's a white petal shining through the wings so what you want it to do is just let the wing look a little bit of lacy maybe a little bit lacy green okay so i'm using some green and just um you know just uh give it a little bit in here okay so it uh, i'm what i'm trying to do is like i'm trying to let you see that uh, wings of a bee is lazy okay lace l l a c is it l a c e y or l a c y okay now um let's do the middle part like this middle part on this petal over here okay um and then you see it unfold in front of your eye and so i was talking to you my uh, my friend subscriber here on YouTube, uh, her name is Lena, and she told us where we can order this on Amazon, this brush. She found it, and I went and I went and looked, and I found what she was talking about. All you have to do, I will I will try to leave a link to you, okay? If you so like this brush, it's only 10 bucks, and the shipping was like $3 and something, so Quinneco don't burn orange, okay? Now I'm going in back into the yellow and pick up some yellow, okay? And just do the same thing. I pull the color out. Now, why do I why do I do that? Other than I'm giving the the middle part of the daisy, which is so important. Now, I'm not going to butt too close to the to the bee. Okay, not because I'm worried about the uh, black color leaking. It's just the way I do it because I think this will be what you see in nature. Okay. Now, um, and so it's about ten dollar, and I'm going in the burn umber again. Okay, and just like giving this a little bit of a depth okay so you can actually see a dome right i hope you see a dome of this but not too deep of a dome okay don't do too deep of a dome because uh, like if you you know don't you know if you say well this gives the illusion of the deep of the dome then you add more dark color over there and that will make uh, it will push it down right away okay it'll push the dome down right away okay isn't that fun? <laughs> Isn't, you know, it's almost like you're creating thing in front of you, okay? Now, for the uh, daisy, we're gonna mainly uh, do this in, uh, it's a white flower, right? So what we need to do is do the background, okay? Now I'm going to just gently do the background to bring it out for you to see, and then I will come in. And so it wouldn't be, of course, it will be more intense when it's closer to the flower and then I'll pull it out gently because I have plans to just put little buds here and there the bud the buds of the of the daisy okay and then I have another daisy of course you probably won't be able to see that oh should I just do that one no, let's just do that one okay okay so the supporting area of the daisy is just a, a green color okay so because it's in the shade so I'm making I'm mixing some perlene green okay that I have you know, you guys have seen this. I, you know, once I put some color in a dish, I keep using it until it's gone and then I add. So it's here to stay, okay? So here's some perlene green, I'm pushing it out and here's my indigo, right? And so when I would want to use some darker green, I mix the indigo with perlene green and you can see the consistency is like that. Not too watery because I like intense pig pigment. I really do. Um, I like intense pigment because, hey, if I want to, uh, I want it to be watery, I will add water, okay? And then, uh, you know, I pull it out so not the whole thing is intense, intense green color. Okay, I pull it out and then I'll come back and uh, get pick up some indigo and put it right there. Okay, and so to suggest that it is a it is a cup shape, it's not a triangle only. Okay, and then I'll pull some a stamp down. Okay, from there, you know, not to. As of right now, I'm not going to worry about it too much about where the stem is going. You know, I let the water decide for us in a minute. Okay. And you see what I meant by that. Okay. And uh, I actually have something to show you, but I can't show you now because I have things to tell you. If I have time, I'll show you something. It's, you know, 
it's okay. Well, it's a story, I guess. You will you will see, okay? Now, so what I'm doing is I'm coming in. Let's do the back pedal first, okay? Now, I don't uh, make the, like, I make the flower. Like, this is my practice, okay? I paint the flower, and then I, the back pedal, usually is shorter because I'm trying to do perspective, okay? And the one that's closer to us is longer, okay? And so that's what we're going to do. And so with the back pedal, let's just, um, you know, I, I can hardly see my my uh, my hand, uh, my pencil drawing is really funny. You know, I do that to myself quite quite a lot, you know, because I <laughs> I draw it and this drawing I came in and draw it last night. Okay, so what am I painting? I'm actually painting the area between the pedal. Okay, the background, the atmosphere. Okay, you know, because um, now. This is where the pedal cut off about this area, and I'm not, but I'm really brave. Okay, I'm just gonna bring the bring the light light wash of the indigo into the into the pedal. Okay, why do I do that? Because um, then it looks more like um, the pedal is uh, it's not so harsh standing against a page. It's actually um, it's actually uh. Now I'm dropping this because I want that color. I'm dropping some indigo. I want the color to be more intense, okay? Now I'm gonna come over here and then we'll work on one pedal at a time. Or the background pedal, you know, one at a time, okay? Now one thing I wanted to watch out is I don't want to make this um, background area too monotonous, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as I'm doing, I'm going to use my best um, I can do to, um, uh, you see, I, I just round the corner and round out the pedal, okay? And then I'm just being myself. I don't like uh, a sharp line there, and so I'm doing a lost line. I let your eye fill out where the pedal is, okay? And so what I'm doing is I'm, to avoid monotonous, I'm trying to bring in different color, different color, um, green, the perlene green and then I might use some sap green here in a minute because you know I don't want to be in the go in the go in the go well I mean it needed to be because it's the atmosphere but you know you will see that I uh, I uh, vary the the shape of the in the go back there okay now the back over here you know need to be somewhat of a soft line so that it buys me time you know I have plenty of time to come in and decide what I wanted to do with that area okay now, so back to the indigo mix, okay? Now, I can see with my little, uh, there's a big triangle area, and that's good because you don't want small line, small line, okay? Sometimes you want a big area too, okay? And that just gives more variety to your painting, and it's very pretty that way, okay? Okay, I just dropped some perlene, you know, and there's a, there's a pedal right here. I can see that that's my drawing. And so I go over there and just the swipe of a little bit of color will help you, you know, break up the pedal. Okay, it's just really fun. And I'm going to use paints gray. I will actually use some black here uh, on the bottom side. Okay, because I, like I say just a minute ago, I don't like to, I don't like it too uh, monotonous. Not only shape monotonous, si uh, color monotonous too. I I I try to avoid that. So, you know, with my painting, it's a little hard because I keep having to think about. Okay, what w what should I do with the next pedal, <laughs> with the next area, right? Because I I'm like trying to introduce different color, you know. And so this one I will introduce at the intensity. Okay, the pink, the indigo, the intensity is very light. Okay. So I'm just going to try to pull it out. And do you see my uh, little area over here? Okay, I'll pull in the indigo over here, okay? And so that petal kind of disappear into the background in front of your eyes, okay? And that's what we do with uh, white flower. And then we will come back in and, and put shadow. Now, I'm approaching this petal, okay? So I wanted to do that with you. I'm approaching that different, uh, that different flower, that, uh, flower of this uh, where the bee landed on right and so now i'm uh, very heavy perlene green i go in here okay and i pull that out okay and uh, i see the shape that i put in okay and I, I will just do that okay and then i'm butting against this shape of this uh, petal over here okay so i'm just going to make my mind focus and uh and be a little bit because you're painting this pedal and this pedal at the same time and it's good to focus right and uh, because uh, when i was painting the owl with you i i told you that you know 
um, it's just good for us to challenge our mind to focus and uh, you know because that is what keep our mind youthful at least as much as we could you know uh, under the circumstances I am a little sad lately because a lot of my friends uh, had gone into dementia and so it's like friends that uh, live in the area and go to church with you for 20 years and uh, you're like uh, I guess you know they change personality they really do sometimes they become sweeter but not always okay I'm pulling the indigo into both area of the both petal because they're overlapping okay but then I have some in the go though I need to have some in the go around here so that you know that you you know that there's some uh, separation and when we do the line I'm gonna use a little bit of gray if I if I don't like the way they separate okay anyway and so uh, Lena find this and I I went and I saw it I went to Amazon Lena I I listened to you right away and went there and I ordered another one of this of my trusty Chinese brush, and that was good. It is the right, it is the corn, uh, corn sore trademark, right? And so I went and got that. I'm very happy. I am going to have a brush. I think it's about ten dollar, nine dollar something plus three dollar something shipping. So, oh my god, you know, seriously, that is very very cheap for for a very good brush, right? That you can just uh, use and uh, push and. I like my brush. She's been my good companion, you know, a very trust. You can trust it, you know, very much. But I, I'm not sure that if I should say that because, you know, you can trust any brush that you work with for a long time. You know that, right? Because um, as you work with them, then you get used to them. And they do have a little bit of memory. They do, you know, it's hard to explain. I don't know how, but they, uh, you know, they, uh, the hair just kind of bend and bend back, you know, wh whenever you need it. Okay, so now I'm already, I'm butting it against the wings. I'm, I'm not letting the green go into the wings until I get some sap green. Okay, I'm doing some sap green atmosphere and I let it go into the wings. Okay, and then uh, I'm rounding up to the B now. Okay, I'm rounding up to the B. So there's not a lot that needed to be done at this moment. Okay, so there's a sap green, you know, over here. And uh, I'm going to pull it out and uh, soften the area. And then uh, it will give me time to give me think. You know, do you know that when I paint watercolor, I actually um, I actually uh, make decision as I go to, okay? It is very spontaneous um, the way the way I do it. I don't know if uh, people or people are. Now, spontaneous does not mean you're not prepared, okay? I will tell you that in a minute if I have time. But I just want to finish up the thought that you guys uh, can look at the link and go and get this if you wanted to. Of course, Lena and I are not paid um, for this, you know. <laughs> it's just, uh, she's just very kind. She just went and looked and she found it. She told me. I don't know if she, I didn't even ask her. I don't um, ask a lot of questions, you know, because I, you know, some people like to keep things private and or what they do private and I don't like to bother people on that so I don't know if she buy one but I, I uh, she might have you know and uh, maybe she's just trying to help me because she know how bad condition this brush is you know so I order it and uh, it's coming now they sell this one too which is the red tail okay in the same link and they also sell this flow brush which I have okay the flow brush and uh, the red tail, I don't think you should buy the red tail. I just, you know, if you see that and you want to buy more, I just wanted you to know. And the flow brush, you might want to, if you wanted to. The flow brush, eh, I'll just change to the flow right now. The flow doesn't give you a lot of, of water, okay? It is a uh, different hair. And I, you know, I, I know that, you know, about the hair, but I don't remember. And so if you want me to check and see what hair is in the flow brush, I can tell you. You know, but the Chinese do whatever they want, you know, that they think is, you know, because the art of the uh, of the Chinese um, uh, brush maker, uh, you know, very, very, um, they have done it for many, many years. OK, so they uh, they know what they're doing. You know, I don't <laughs> attempt to <laughs> give suggestion, you know, because I'm not that bold. And, uh, you know, I know I respect people what they know. OK, well, I mean, you know, it's very many, many years and they work very, very hard, you know, to bring us good brush, you know, so I don't uh, 
you know, I don't suggest I don't get into people's business, you know, and uh, that there's no way you can get into their business anyway, to be honest. Okay. And uh, so this is, you know, but can you see all the petals are coming together? You know, isn't that fun? Okay. So I need a little bit over there and I'm going to go in and just, uh, you know, as we do that, you know, you are doing the white. Okay. You are bringing a white color and getting the white to be there. And, um, it's very pretty. White colors, uh, white color flower is pretty. All flowers are pretty, actually. What am I kidding myself? Okay. But anyway, thank you, Lena, for your help uh, with us. You know, if you guys wanted to go buy it, I, uh, I don't uh, stand behind anything that I suggest because I know that for a brush to be good or anything to be good, it is our, our diligence of practice that make it good. Okay. It, um, it, uh, you know, it could hardly make any difference if you, um, if you don't get used to it, okay? You get used to it and then you will, I'm, I just drop some sap green over there, okay? Because I have a plan over here. I'm going to do some some buds over here. So I'm making it this as light as I can, but you know, green is fine. Um, yeah, I don't uh, really, uh, you know, stand behind my brush because I don't, um, I know that I sp stand behind what I say of we all need to, um, you know, practice and keep our brush wet. Okay, and that's what make um, us good artists and not particularly um, going out to buy brush. Okay, because like I told you that um, I think a long time ago that, uh, okay, so also all these are indigo color. I can, I can push some of the indigo in there, you know, just uh, to make the shadow because I'm going into the darker area over here. Imagine the sun is coming this way, okay? And uh, so, um, yeah. And so that's what I can vouch for, vouch for, you know, lots of practice, make good artists, okay? Make us control water better. It has nothing to do with our brush. Um, there's some really, really awesome artists in Vietnam, in uh, Taiwan that I know, you know, use very, very cheap brush. Now, I don't know, maybe the Western artists use more expensive brush. That's just their preference. And there's lots of, you know, good artists here too, but I, yeah, I can see that they do, you know, like to, I, I, I don't know, it could be a YouTube thing that they review a lot of brush and uh, maybe that's why they do that, you know, but uh, if you ask any artists, ask any artists, they will tell you they, uh, they're very loyal to their brush, you know, one, once they get used to them, they just, um, it, it will be the best, best brush for them. Okay. And so I am like, luckily financially, I guess that I, uh, <laughs> Actually, <laughs> what? Who am I kidding? Um, well, but uh, I, uh, I uh, actually like my uh, my Chinese brush. You know, it seems like I pick it up, and since I'm doing video, right? I'm doing video. I need something that is very reliable, so you can see that why I why I do that, why I uh, you know say what I say because I know that these brushes are just so reliable to me. You know, randomly now I'm putting color on the background. Okay. Now I might regret it, but I work with it. You know, I will tell you because I'm going to make flowers everywhere. And so, you know, um, you know, uh, and so I wanted you to see in this painting that, you know, don't worry about these color, you know, you will, we will work with it. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay. And making the background a little bit, you know, have something. I'm dropping a little more indigo because this is the most darkest part of the atmosphere right around here and so i just allow myself while this is still wet i drop a little and i might go in and change it later you know i don't know if it is not intense enough what i mean intense enough is the value the tonal value okay how dark this is will make this look whiter right as you can see that right in front of your eye okay and so let's um just uh you know, we can always like, uh, we assess the painting and then we, okay, I just go in and draw and take some paint spray. Why do I do that? Because I'm just like that. I wanted, um, difference. Okay. Variety. Okay. So I just put some paint spray here. Now I'm cleaning up the pedal. I want it to be sharper and skinnier, I guess. Okay. And uh, you know, as I come out and then I will put different color green. I, I have actually a lot of green that is looking at me right now. I have phthalo green. I have, Hunter's green and I have green gold, you know, but I don't put so much in there. You know, I stick with two to three. Okay. Now, um, and so that's, uh, all I would like to say. So, uh, if I remember, I will uh, leave the link and if you want to go buy it, then that's fine. 
you know, it is hardly uh, any major in investment. And if you um, think after you get it and you say, ah, this is like awful, I will never get used to it, then just give it to someone, you know, like help someone or something, you know. I do that if I have extra brush. To, like, I was laughing at myself and why did I do that, okay? Now, this is just a design. I'm just doing that just for fun, okay? No rhyme or reason <laughs> why this look like this, you know. It's just that I wanted to. Uh, I have this kind of brush. I have this one all the way from uh, Rosemary and Cold. Um, uh, let's see, what, what else do I have? I have, yeah, this one is also a Kolinsky. Yeah, Rosemary and Cold. Now, I don't pull that out. You know, not because they're bad, they're just right here. But I have what I needed, you know, and so I, I, I never like tell you, you know, go buy a lot of stuff. I'm not like that, you know, because I I know that that, you know, I but you know what I'll say is like very annoying, right, Kathy? That's enough, you know. <laughs> just do a lot of practice. <laughs> Don't buy a lot of brush, do a lot of practice, okay? You know, because I'm very honest, you know, I wouldn't want you to go out. Now, I, I did some indigo and now I did do some sad green, okay? Because I know over here, I probably won't do much in a minute. And so I'm just going to have some sad green over there. Now, can you see the, the you know, do you like it? Do you like our little um, uh, our little uh, daisy that just come out? Isn't that cute? Isn't that fun? And so we did that, okay? Now, but we're not quite done. I'm just excited, you know. To show you okay now over here underneath the bottom of our bee i'm gonna put a little bit more in the gold just to bring out the his bottom okay her bottom whoever you know because you know that's what we do right we use the background to help us to see what's happening with the shape over here okay and there is a petal over here but in order for the bee to stand out i'm gonna drop a little bit green okay so our little bee bottom just stand out a little bit, okay? And uh, let's do this flower, okay? I have already done the base. And so what I will do is, I don't really need to do this, but I'm going to do it so you can see it. Um, but if you are more advanced and you say, oh, I don't need to, I want you to see this petal over here, okay? So I just pick up some pink gray and I'm going to line it for you so you can see that there's a petal right here, okay? You see that? And straight away, I'm going to use some water a clean brush and use it and soften it because what I wanted you to see is you know you've seen the petal but it is still a white flower so what I'm using the paint spray is I decided that oh I'm using it for a shadow okay I can drop a little bit of indigo right there that's fine and then um, there is uh, shapes right here but I'm not going to line it because it's not necessary because I'm going to and eh, maybe one more you know or maybe this petal over here okay just a little bit so you can see it just for your your sake, okay? If my little uh, brush will pick up the pigment and be friends with me and not rebel. Okay, so there's, you can see that there's three petals, okay? And now all these petals, now I'm going to do the same thing and outline uh, outline it with a background, okay? With an indigo background, uh, indigo green mix. Okay, now while I'm doing that, because it's the same thing, okay? I will quickly tell you something, okay? It's a story that happened to me here on YouTube. A long time ago, I designed this painting, okay? This is a card, okay? And this is a print because I sold the original, okay? So this is mine. I want you guys to know that the day when I got this done, it was about 10 years ago, I was very, very happy because I struggled. It took me a long time to get this because I wanted to do some dynamic uh, of Daisy, right? And so, okay, you saw it, I designed that, okay? So let's just talk about that as we paint. Okay, so now I'm doing the same thing. I'm picking up indigo to outline the shape of this flower, this white flower that is uh, halfway open, okay? Now, I don't know why I do some here and some over there because I'm trying to tell you the other story. <laughs> I think that's why I do that. And then I'm softening the line, okay? I'm just bringing it out as these two so that you can see, okay? Now, um, so that was a very treasure to me. And to be honest, you guys, you guys meaning the general public, also think that, also like that design. And I was very, very happy because I work very hard. I, I work hard with this design too. I work hard with my design because I am a very picky OCD person and I am picky. I'm just picky. And when I, I'm softening the area so that I can do what I want later, okay? I'm a picky person and so I don't cut myself a lot of slack in a lot of times. I wanted to make sure things are perfect. So I, I work on things and I work on things 
and um, and I practice and I practice so that um, I can do good things. I think that's a good um, what do you call working mentality. Okay, you know so. And so um, I would say about a month ago, you know, when this YouTube channel started, I say, okay, I'll do my daisy because I'm like, I know you guys will like it. And I was so happy about my old painting that you just saw. Okay, this guy. Okay. And uh, and say, so I said, maybe I'll just paint that. I'll just show that because it's ready. And I, you know, and then so I went and just without thinking very much, I went to YouTube and uh, and uh, just uh, do a search of watercolor daisy and guess what show up my cart this cart show up i put a pen on it not this pen but a pen on it like this you know when i took my picture to sell you know it show up somebody took my painting <laughs> you know they did they just took it and they uh, they even used my picture <laughs> They didn't even bother to like uh, change the design and do it themselves. You know, they took my picture, and um, and so I, you know, and so the first feeling that I saw when I saw that I saw my painting on YouTube, but it wasn't on my channel. It was somebody else from India, and I told myself, okay, I was sad because I know I have to deal with it, and I don't like to deal with things like that. You know, because it's hard. You know, I mean, you know, and you're saying, why do you do that? You know, why do you not, uh, you know, be a little more honest and do things yourself? You can see this is all over Pinterest. You know, go change it. Do something else with it, you know, and then do your own, right? And so I was kind of sad. And of course, I told my daughter and say, okay, I, I, I hate to just be really, I, I don't, I'm not a mean person, okay? Even though she was not very upright and nice, you know, to me. It doesn't mean that I need to be mean about anything, you know. So I let my daughter, uh, who is more, she's younger, you know, and so she know how to do things more. And I let her deal with it. She, she, she say, Mom, what do you want to happen? I say, what I want is I want to be able to do my own daisies. Okay. Now, so you can see that I, I designed this daisy and I designed another one, you know. And so just um, go and push yourself, work hard, right? And... uh and so I did that and I, I say, well, I just want to be able to use my own thing and that people don't take my thing, you know, and, um, you know, I don't want to destroy people or do anything like that. OK, um, well, maybe just I told her, maybe just like uh, tell her to stop, <laughs> you know, give it back, you know, take it down, you know, don't do that. OK, just go do your own thing. And um and so she, my, my daughter dis decided on a course of action with YouTube and she did. And so uh, what we did is we asked the lady to, now I'm doing the middle because I think a little bit of the middle part would show. So I just put a cadmium uh, yellow medium, okay? And I'm dropping a tiny bit of connectome uh, burnt orange, okay? Just a tiny bit of pigment over there. Just uh, now you look at it and you know that the shape of the flower is different than these two, right? And so I, uh, she took care of it. And after the last day, um, I think YouTube gave her two weeks and at the last day she took it down. Okay. And then, but then I thought to myself, oh my goodness, this is the only time I actually could see something, somebody who wanted to do my painting and make a video of it. Cause I was so sad about the whole thing. I didn't even go watch her, you know, because I thought it wouldn't be good because she didn't even use her own painting you know, to show she used my card. And so after she teach people how to paint. And so, and then I saw a comment of somebody say, hey, wait, you didn't finish the painting. The painting is really pretty, uh, but you didn't finish it. You just dropped it. And why am I telling you this? Okay, I'm telling you this because I wanted to um, uh, show you something, okay? But before I say that, I, I wanted to intensify the eye area of the BB, okay? Just intensify it, okay? make it a little bit darker, okay? Because I look at it and it doesn't look too intense and I say, oh, I must have it be intense, okay? And so uh, what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to use my paint spray and I might use some indigo. I might even use some green and some purple, okay? To uh, bring out the shadow, okay? Now, so this, uh, let's do this one first since it's on the side, okay? So what I mean is I'm painting shadow now, okay? A shadow on a white flower. Okay, so just um, give it some kind of a radiant from the middle, but not every single petal that way, okay? 
not every single petal that way. You need, you just uh, do some and then you don't do the other, okay? Because it's, it's my thing. You know, I don't like to have things uh, looking all the same, okay? And so that's what I do. And I'm pulling some in the gold and, you know, let it go on, okay? I let it go on to the flower. And uh, so I say, this is my chance. Nobody, you guys are not making video and show me what you did, right? Of course not. You're, you know, you are, you are learning and you don't do things like that. And so that's the only one time. So before she took it down, I went and watched how she did it. Okay, so I wanted to tell you why. Because I wanted you guys to not make the same mistake she does. Now I can't say that she is... Okay, just to say it honestly, okay? I, I just want to be honest. I don't think she is... She's young, okay? And she... Uh, uh, apparently... Okay, I'm bringing the shadow out from the middle, okay? From the middle. Because this one, I want it to be a little more detailed, okay? And uh, so... And then I come and soften it, okay? So it comes from the middle part, okay? So that you can, you know, keep... Uh, you know... Just uh, keep with me, okay? And then I'm using actually some indigo over here, you know, and uh, pulling it out from the middle, okay? If I want to separate uh, two petal, I just did that, right? And I will say this one probably casts a shadow on that one. So I pull it out on this side, you know, the indigo. Wow, it looks like there's a lot of indigo. So, you know, like I told you, I solve problem as I go. If there was too much indigo, then I quickly go and dilute it, right? No problem. Okay, don't worry about it. Just uh, get practicing and you will be able to do this instinctively, okay? And so I went and watched her and so I find out the number one mistake she, she does and I don't want you guys to do the same mistake is do your drawing and be sure that your drawing is ready. Oh, wow. How, how's my painting? It's rotating. Uh, be sure that your drawing is ready so you have it on your paper. Okay, she didn't. Um, I think she felt like she could be so confident with herself that she uh, just go in and start painting with no lines, no pencil mark. You know, I have been painting for a lot of years, okay? When you are painting, especially she was trying to do a video, you make mistake because your conscious and your subconscious are competing for the space of your brain, right? And uh, she did not uh, have a drawing. Well, and then so she fell very fast. Okay, I can see that quickly because she, her, 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 her painting, she started right here. Okay, wherever she start and everything crowded here because she didn't have it all laid out. Okay, and then by the time she get over here, she already can see that she make a big mistake and then she drop it. In the middle of a, 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 of a video, she just um, drop it. You know, okay. And so I thought, oh, wow. So I say I, I should use this uh, as, a, as a learning lesson for um, my people. My people meaning you guys, okay, that are following me. And so be sure you do your drawing and mark your space, okay? Um, because then, you know, what that does to you, for you, is that you don't have to be sad because you started and your paper is gone. You know, right? If you don't um, be careful how you start and your paper is gone and your ink is gone and then you have to throw it out. Um, I today would not be able to do that. You know, just I uh, go in with a brush and uh, without any supporting skeleton, you know, which that's what I call, you know, the drawing, right? Without any supporting skeleton and just uh, go ahead and have fun. You know, I know that that might be kind of fun and maybe she thinks that she can do it. Um, I would just, I can strongly actually make a mark and that is not a, that is not a, a practice of a, of a good artist, okay? We don't do things like that. And so now I tell you, I told you my story and then for some reason I don't want to do this, you know, anymore for uh, showing you. I just, you know, I just do this one. I just uh, go ahead and I went in and make some, okay, more pink gray or indigo, whichever you want, okay? And then I pull a little bit more out from the middle over here, okay? And just make it a little bit prettier. You know, maybe I may say so. And, uh, you know, I know myself, I know what I can do and I know what I cannot do. And I certainly will not uh, be not planned, I think. You know, but that's just my personality and uh, you guys uh, 
you guys get used to me and I'm grateful for that. Now I'm going to go, go to my violet. Let's not forget, okay? Because you can use violet on a shadowy area too, okay? And just a little bit. It actually is quite pretty because I'm so close to it. I can see that. And so, yeah, I, I suggest you guys do some violet, okay? Violet or purple, okay? Like that little thing that I show you all the time. Okay, quinacridone violet or any red purple, okay? You can use blue purple too. I just, you know, it seems like the red purple work. And anyway, that's um, about all I wanted to, you know, say. And I wish her good luck. I hope she will improve, you know. You know, sometimes some of the things that I say here, I, uh, you know, I really mean it. You know, that, uh, you know, about, you know, the technique and what you need to be careful about, you know. And um, it's good to um, think about it and see if you want it to do it, you know. I, I don't force anyone to do anything, of course not, you know. But I think that those are good. You know what I usually do is I learn through the years. I still practice and I tell you where the pitfall is, you know. Or, you know. And so uh, now this one is not the main one, so we can just kind of quickly do some shadow, but we didn't have to do a lot, okay? Didn't have to do a lot. And this is nice, you know. Um, because uh, we are doing shadow, but um, you still look like it's white. And that is because um, we are sparing. Actually, we're not quite sparing, but it still looks like a white, a white um, painting to you. And that's important. I hope I have enough lights, you know. I am trying very hard to uh, make sure there's enough light. I have four lights going at the same time. It, it's very hard, though, for me to see what's going on, on while I'm while I am doing the video but I think it's bright enough that you guys can see okay so this is nothing but indigo here and there sparingly okay just look like a shadow okay just sparingly with the shadow and then that's enough okay you know sometimes I, I don't look like I put I, I go pick up some more pigment but I'm just uh, because there's still pigment here and now I'm coming in with the like see her wings the little bee's wings I'm gonna put a little purple right there okay and make things a little bit more colorful and uh, she's checking the this vowel out and then uh, so um, and then she's landing okay now so I really think that it's important to put some I'm going to go back to the black color and, and uh, I'm hoping that my little brush will pick up the pigment for me okay I'm going to do some uh, the BB's um, the feelers okay right here Whoa, it just drop in and sometimes it go faster than I want and sometimes it doesn't, okay? Her feelers right there and then I felt like it is important to have the leg, okay? I am actually allergic to bee, very allergic. But I don't go into anaphylaxic, but uh, my father raised bees when I was young. I got stink a lot and so I developed an allergic reaction to it. But that's okay. You know, so I don't even, I, I have people give me honey actually for Christmas present and such, you know, like neighbors bringing honey. We have some bee, bee uh, racer, like people that raise bee. I wanted this part to be a little shadowy, okay? So I did that. Now that's enough leg because it's a suggestion of the, like the, the little legs here and that's enough. You know, we don't need to draw every single one. It's not necessary and actually not preferred, okay? And so these are our bee. -bee. And she's like checking the 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 flower out, and I have to tell myself, okay, Kathy, remember to put, um, you know, because you have you have uh, shadow here, you have uh, purple here, and then make it consistent, okay? I'm gonna do some purple, and so now what I'm gonna do is just a very simple background, okay? Uh, what I wanted to do, and I I would do it now with my pencil, and tell myself, okay where I wanted it to go. I probably don't need the pencil, but just for your sake, I'll do it, okay? Now, um, and for my sake, okay, let's not always blame you guys. I can blame myself too. I'm I'm doing a butt over here, so I'm drawing a, a kind of like a abstract circle, but not really a circle right here, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with my trusty brush and go get some green color, okay? And then it will, you know, show up right in front of your eyes, okay? Now I'm going to put in the characteristic of a butt, okay? And uh, just do this, okay? Now you can see that I'm not even worried about my uh, my uh, my trusty brush is feathering, okay? Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in 
and pull this color out, okay? And so that you can see that something is forming right in front of your eye, okay? And then I will use some indigo and drop it in the bottom-ish area. Actually, it is the bottom area. And so that it will look more like a round shape, okay? Instead of, uh, you know, instead of just a circle, okay? Now, we'll keep going, okay? Use a little bit of greenish color and continue to paint the characteristic of a butt, okay? So, um, if you uh, wanted to... Um, you know, do this, then you can uh, go and look at Pinterest or, you know, wherever you can find or go to your name. Oh, well, it's not, Daisy's not out yet, though. It will be a couple months before they will even show up. And so you can't see them in your neighbor's house, can you? I have a neighbor that I go visit a lot and I... Okay, so I'm going to just leave that there, okay? Because everywhere is wet. Ah, ah whatever. I'm going to use a, actually a light green to do the middle, Okay because that is the indication, but not uh, solidly green, uh, uh, green, okay? And then I'm dropping it here and there, okay? And then as I do that, I am going to do a base, okay? Because if they do have a base of a leaf coming out, okay? And then we wanted to be able to paint that and suggest to you that this is a butt. Um, and uh, I can see that it should take some green over here, okay? And now this is a puddle, it really is. And I can take the puddle, I'll just like let it dry, I don't really care. Maybe this, I want it a little bit longer. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to go in the back of this flower, of this little bud, and, you know, suggest some leaves that are coming over here, okay? Now what I just do all this, I just draw it. I didn't, you know, and then I will, I will abstractly pull some color out, okay? Because this is not the main part of the flower. I'm just showing you that there is a bud. Okay, I'm going to do this and um, maybe do a little one right here, okay? And this one is halfway kind of open, okay? So I'm just going to, you know, kind of, you know, kind of do some line, but I, make, I will make sure all this drawing will be there for you, okay? Now you can see, um, now I'm using, I'm mixing some praline green, okay? Like what I did earlier, just pulling some praline green and pulling some indigo. Periodically, I will show you guys this kind of thing so that you can see, you know, what I do with the color. But it could hardly be important to you, okay? Now, I, I have some uh, little too uh, much of indigo, I can tell, right? And so I will go in with some, uh, with some praline green and just pull the color out, okay? So it'll be more green than indigo, okay? I do things like that a lot and I wanted to show you guys more because I wanted to tell you I really do uh, correct mistake as I go with watercolor because you know you can hardly uh, tell the watercolor you can hardly tell your brush you know to behave you know I can't maybe you guys can um, and uh, can you imagine telling the watercolor that we will have I uh, you need to let me have control over you um, that will actually will be very hard for to see that actually happen you know, because it's water, they do what they want, okay? But, um, and so I uh, was paying attention to myself so I can explain to you guys, okay, dropping indigo in the bottom, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is there's white leaves right here, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm using, like, perlene green, and now I'm painting the background, okay, again, to let the, let the white of a, of a bud that is about to open show up, okay? It is uh, maybe a little bit counterintuitive, but it's quite fun. Okay, I'm just dropping color, dropping some green color and hope that it will, you know, make a kind of like an abstract pretty area over here. But can you see that? It just show up right in front of your eyes, right? That uh, the butt with the white stuff is like right there. Okay, and it's a little bit of abstract background. The butt is not really abstract, but the background is. But, you know, because we have seen daisy plants enough, right? And we know what that is. Especially with these other guys right next to it, you know exactly what that is. Oh yeah, Kathy, you're trying to uh, do a, you know, half open, right? But that's not enough though. And I'm going to, just gonna use this and clean that brush in my water and dry it a little bit. And I'm gonna pull in some of this green. See over here, I'm using the green. And what am I using the green? I'm using that as shadow. And so, because the white is not, you know, all white, right? Of course it's not. 
and so we need some shadow and as the shadow go in then you can see the petals separate okay and let's uh, give it some a little bit of uh, violet okay and we can give it some paint spray whatever you like okay now this area is actually quite fun right now okay it's still a little bit wet and so you can actually drop like uh, yellow okay you can actually drop some yellow you know it is nothing then you're just uh, giving the atmosphere some color okay so we have a butt over here and then we have a, a half open one right next to it okay and so that make up the background right and so um i might do another butt right here but um and uh, because i have to say goodbye again um but i will uh of course have a little thing a little finished product right here for you guys to follow around and so this one i might uh, you know drop a little bit of color or i might just do another i don't know um uh, just a little bit of here and there but it's uh, mainly this this guy here or this guy just one of the two okay and um and then i'll splash some color behind the b because that will um that will show some uh, uh what do you call that action action in flight okay and so this is it i think it's kind of cute okay i might like just suggest that there are flower here and there okay like so what, what i will do i'll just do it right in front of you okay like if i use some uh quinacolin burnt orange okay this uh ugly thing it's not ugly actually i love it i shouldn't say that this uh this good thing okay quinacolin burnt orange okay and then i will um like I, I drop some color here right and meanwhile while i'm dropping i'm doing the shape of the middle okay i would drop some and then i would drop some yellow the same way the same way as i okay and so to your eye suddenly what will happen you saw that there is a flower right there right okay you can see that and there's some white over here so what will kathy do i will come in and use the background okay i will just paint some shadow in the background but you know and so the, to further reinforce your eye that yes, you are seeing a flower right there. Okay, but then I'm not going to do detail like that. I'm just gonna, you know, just kinda here and there, I will drop some more shadow, okay? So you can see that, oh yeah, Kathy, you know, you can see that some of my indigo run into the, run into the burnt orange or the burnt orange run into the indigo. And you don't, you will not see me crying. I actually love that, okay? And I'm just uh, here and there, I'm suggesting, I'm suggesting. And now you can see it, right? There is a flower there. I just uh, put a flower there for a background. Isn't that fun? Okay, now, uh, and so there's not much in the background. I won't do a lot more, okay? Just maybe, probably nothing, actually. I'll just leave it the way it is. <laughs> and then I will just uh, do some splashing here and there. And then uh, I just want to say goodbye. Thank you for uh, being here with me. Thank you for uh, your support. And thank you for uh, subscribing. And I hope you can even invite people if you like, friends or family that like to um, to watch my stuff. I like it. It makes me very happy to be able to share my technique with people. And thank you for supporting me. Uh, thank you for telling me things that I can buy, you know, to help me, you know, like the, the I order that and I, I'll show you when it comes, okay? Oh, actually, BYU, uh, my husband's college, I just bought a pencil. It was on 50% off because they're having their year-end sale. And it's a 0 0.3 pencil. It's a pencil. And so I uh, I just ordered a bunch of 0 0.3 lead because I like that. It would just make really, really tiny marks. And uh, I got two of them. It's not a haul. <laughs> I don't haul that much, you know. But uh, I have my share, though, of things, you know. I, you know, let's not uh, kid myself, you know. I, I do like to, but I, uh, I, I don't think it's necessary to buy a lot. Um, anyway, thank you so much for being here with me and uh, I hope you have a very good day and try, okay? And uh, don't have to do this one. Actually, I like the color to be a little bit darker. We did this one. Isn't that fun? You know, it's, you know, not really the same. We had a bee here, um, but uh, I will probably put this one uh, to sell too. But anyway, on my on my uh, blog. And also uh, the drawing of this will be on my blog, okay? Anyway, okay. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next painting. You guys have a very good day, good week, okay?